Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech and iOS 15.2 Beta 3 has been out for a few days. I've been using it on my iPhone 13 Pro Max on my main device and also earlier this week Apple released iOS 15.1.1 as well the day or so after 15.2 beta 3. Now I want to talk about the overall experience of 15.2 beta 3 as well as your experience based off the YouTube community poll where there's over 15,000 votes and over 270 comments at this point. Now before we talk about that there's a few different features I didn't show in the initial what's new video that I wanted to share with you. Now the first thing has to do with Apple Music. So in Apple Music, if you go into your library, and then within your library you go to your playlists, within your playlist just maybe pick one, and you can now search your playlist. Just pull down and you'll now have a search tab at the top so you can search your playlist. You can look for all of the different artists or anything else, so if we we could search for maybe Sarah here, you'll see it shows up. So that's a new feature, it's nice, it's very simple, but I'm glad they added it. Also in your Wi-Fi settings, they've added a setting as well. So if you go into settings and then we go over to Wi-Fi, within Wi-Fi, tap on the I next to your current network and you'll see it says limit IP address tracking. And this previously said private relay. So Apple seemingly is renaming this. They put this in another place as well. Also within your notification summary, you'll see it says your next summary. We have a down arrow there now. So this seems to be a little bit new. It's just something a little bit different that they've updated. Also, if you have iOS 15.2, it fixes that issue where you replace your screen on your iPhone 13 series and Face ID will now work again. So Apple is getting more into allowing you to repair your own phone and this is a step in that right direction. So all of those things are changed in this particular update. Some people did say they saw new animations and more, but I wasn't able to see anything different between this phone and one running beta 2. Now, as far as the overall experience, well, this has been the worst beta on my phone I've had in quite some time. And I say that because while 5G switching is working a little bit better for me on T-Mobile, whether you're going between 5G, 5G UC, or 4G, that's working better, but everything else is not. For some people, auto brightness is broken, and I currently have it turned off just for this video, but for me, it doesn't seem to work all the time. Also, there were touch bugs again, where I'd go into YouTube and then touch on something. It just wouldn't do anything. I find this to be the case on the iPad as well. It just wouldn't work. Also, I've had issues with different apps locking up. Not just apps, but settings. So settings could lock up. It completely freeze and then crash. I've had that multiple times. I've also had Twitter lock up, Google Smart Lock. If you use that, it doesn't work at all. Also, I've had Wi-Fi networks just completely disappear and I had to reboot to get them back. And when I had to reboot, it didn't work, so I hard rebooted. Then the screen went completely purple and then it worked. Also, my Magic Keyboard on my iPad stopped working as well, so I had to reboot in order to fix that. So lots of odd bugs in this particular update. I've had all sorts of strange things in this update, and you've had many of the same issues based off the YouTube community poll. Other than that, many people are reporting that storage is not loading properly. So if you go into your storage, your iPhone storage, sometimes it just takes forever to load or doesn't load at all and takes much longer than normal. While we've had the storage bug for some time, this seems to be a continued issue. Also, notification summary won't clear for some. So there's lots of really odd bugs in beta 3 and even some of you have said you've gone back to beta 2 because of the problems in beta 3. So there's definitely some issues going on here. Apple has to fix some things. You'll see it finally loaded the iPhone storage, but there's a lot of odd bugs and of course we need to report those in the feedback app to make sure Apple takes care of them. I'm sure we're not the only ones that have this issue, but quite a few of us have odd issues. Some people have no problems at all. And if you're on iOS 15.1.1, that seems to be fine. Everything from battery life and more. So there's a lot of bugs in this beta. There's still some issues with battery in 15.1.1, but in general, the public release is okay. 15.2 beta 2 was really solid for me. Beta 3 has not been great for me at all. Now, as far as overall battery life, if we go into settings and I go and check my battery here, we'll go to battery. Battery health is 100% on my 13 Pro Max. And over the last 10 days, I don't recall the battery being too much of an issue, but you'll see here's my battery life from yesterday, two hours and 53 minutes of screen on time, six hours and 15 minutes of screen off time. The day before, three hours and 28 minutes of screen on time, and a lot of screen off time as well. And I only used about 25 to 30% of my battery. So it's actually doing quite well, easily getting me through a day without any problem. I've had others send me in those 
same things as well on an 11 Pro Max. And thanks to Abishek for sending this in. This is on his 11 Pro Max with about 50% usage. He's getting five hours and 23 minutes of screen on time. So pretty good overall. It's lasting most people through the day on Beta 3. So that's not an issue. Now, as far as the overall experience on the iPad, I've been having the same experience on the iPad as well. Not so great, apps crashing, touch bugs, and battery life is only five or six hours of screen on time. You'll see yesterday, I've had this last charged Friday. So yesterday at 8.44 p.m., now it's 4.51 p.m. the following day, and I only used it for an hour and 38 minutes, and I'm down to 67%. This is just not great battery life, and I really hope Apple improves it touch bugs and everything else. Hopefully it's much better by the time of the final release, but I think they changed something major in this update to give us all those issues. Now, if the phone's not locking up, performance is great. And on previous betas, it was great as well. So if you have an iPhone XR, the XR has been fine for me also, whether it be performance, the phone getting warm and everything like that. The phone does not seem to be heating up for me, which is a great sign. Everything seems to be performing as you would expect, except for those very strange lockups. So I've had some odd lockups here and there, like I said, but other than that, it's performing as you would expect. So very, very strange experience this time where certain apps that I use regularly just don't seem to work anymore. So a very, very strange experience overall where I just didn't have this experience before with so many apps crashing and things not working. Most of the time I'll go in and use an app and it will work fine, but then I'll do something Bluetooth related and it seems to crash. However, I've had no issues whatsoever with connectivity to Bluetooth headphones, such as AirPods Pro or anything like that. So if I turn on AirPods Pro here, let's see if they connect. Lately, they've been connecting without a problem. Let me take one out, put it in my ear. We'll see what happens here. And well, it's taking a bit. So that could be an odd bug, but before I haven't had a single problem. And let's see here, it says AirPods Pro not connected and I hear it in my ear kind of dinging on and off. So it was an issue for me, but again, seems like it wasn't until just then when I shared that with you. Now, as far as future releases, let's talk about those just a little bit. iOS 15.2 Beta 4 may or may not be coming out this week, and the reason I say that is in the United States, it's Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is on Thursday, and typically Apple skips this week. So we may not see a Beta 4 until the following week, or we could jump right until release candidate in the first week of December, and then a final release somewhere around that time. So we may or may not see this. This is a little bit different year for Apple, and I think maybe we won't see one until the following week. But again, we could have one early in the week since that's not a holiday until really the 25th. And then the 26th is a big shopping day in the United States as well for shopping for the holidays and Christmas. So we may not see that for a little bit, but some people have been asking me, will we see an iOS 15.1.2? And at this point, anything is possible since we're having individual device releases as well. So everything is up in the air right now. I would expect another beta before the final version, but we just don't know until Apple pushes that out or doesn't. Now let's take a look at the YouTube community poll. And at the time of this video, let me refresh it. There's over 16,000 votes and 281 comments. Now, before filming this video, I read all of the comments I could, and then of course just refreshed it. But 14% of you are on iOS 15.2 beta three, 53% of you are on iOS 15.1.1, which tells me you're using iPhone 12 or older, and 27% of you are on iOS 15.1 or older. 4% of you are on 14.8.1 or older, and 2% are still on 13.7 or older. Now let's take a look at a few of the comments before the sun goes down in the background here. So we'll search newest first. Let's do that again. And I'll only read a few, but you'll see Adrian Romero says, better than beta two, I'm on beta three on my iPhone 13 Pro. Battery is slightly better than previous and the phone runs smooth. Jerry M, still no beep when Siri is activated. And I never noticed that until quite a few people mentioned when you turn on Siri, there's no ding, even, even if you don't have the phone silenced or anything else. I'd like to see them bring that back. Alpha Bravo says, beta three, pity the Apple didn't seem to fix the seem to have fixed anything. CarPlay doesn't work. Some apps need to be tapped on twice to launch. If I ask Siri what the weather is like at home, it still doesn't know who I am. But the battery is okay, especially with the screen on. iPhone 7 Plus. Callum Jack says, on iOS 15.1.1 on my 13 Pro Max, and it seems to be okay aside from notifications still being quiet, even at max volume. And also storage takes a long time to load when viewing in settings. Will says, iOS 15.1.1 on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, just as bad as 
iOS 15.1. Always getting a reminder that I've left my AirPods Pro behind, but they're still in my ears. Terrible battery life, less than seven hours. I used to get greater than or more than 10 hours. Some apps lock up. They're all on the latest updates. I've done hard reboots as well. Also, make sure your AirPods are updated since Apple recently did that. I would check that as well. Brayden says, I'm using iOS 15.2 Beta 3 on my, on my 13. It seems to be running well with the exception of auto brightness not working at all. It stays dim when it needs to be way brighter. Jason Shepard says, still on 15.1 on iPhone 11 and it's still a garbage update. Lags, glitches, games crashing, and battery life is very poor. Still not happy that Apple skipped over iPhone 11s and others and didn't give us 15.1.1. Anthony Quinn says, having trouble with my iPad on iPad OS 15.1. When playing music, the music stops playing, but I can see the song seconds still going. Also on my iPad, my apps crash iOS 15.1.1, low battery backup and battery draining problems on the iPhone 12. It was all good on iOS 14.8. Quad Rider Honda says, I'm having settings lock up on me, and also if you turn on auto brightness, there is a bug. Other than that, it seems to be doing okay for me on a 13 Pro Max. On 15.2 Beta 3, battery life is good, performance is good, can't wait for Beta 4 to see what it brings. Always love your videos. Thank you. Pierre says, I have a lot of issues on iOS 15.1. I'm on an iPhone 11. The issues is I have a heavy battery drain and many lockups sometimes. This is one of the least stable versions of iOS so far on my iPhone 11, and I'm impatient to see iOS 15.2. Let's hope it fixes most of those issues. Thanks for your amazing content. Oh, thank you. Dante says, I'm running iOS 15.1.1 on my iPhone 12 Pro. After updating, I did experience some issues with my data using both LTE and 5G. After a reboot and in about an hour or so, it went back to normal. And so that's everything so far with iOS 15.2 Beta 3, my experience, your experience, and hopefully it gets much better from here on out. Thankfully, Apple's still working on it. I think 15.2 will be a lot better since earlier betas seem to be much better than this one. But so far, this one, like I said, has been one of the worst betas for me probably since iOS 15 Beta 1. So right now, I'm really hoping it getting updated very soon with beta 4 hopefully this week but if not it'll be a week after that and again maybe some smaller updates in between let me know what your experience is if you haven't already in the comments below also if you found any other features in ios 15.2 beta 3 i'd love to hear from you in the comments below if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper of course i'll link it in the description like i normally do and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like as always thanks for watching this is aaron I'll see you next time.